hi guys welcome back to my channel so i have already done this video but i wanted to redo it because i was trying to do it in a rush and my daughter was sleeping and it was just a mess so i wanted to redo it um if you're new to my channel welcome this is going to be my daughter's eight month update today when you're watching this video she actually turned eight months um so yeah, if, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Check out my other videos. I'll leave her other update down below. Um, I, was, I said in one of my videos, I don't want you guys to just subscribe because you see one. Check out my other videos. If you like it, if you like our channel, if you like our vlogs, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if, you're, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for supporting us. And let's get started with the video. Okay, so one of the biggest milestones that I'm excited for, I'm sad for, and I'm excited to share is that Ella broke her first tooth. Um, I honestly didn't even know she, I kind of had a, well, I kind of had a feeling that she was teething because she was chewing a lot and she was fussy, but it wasn't like fussy, like constant, like all day. I just thought she was just fussy because maybe, because she was just, it was just randomly throughout the day. And I thought maybe it was just because she was tired or she just was going through a phase. Um, and with her, sorry, I have no lipstick on besides the point. Um, and with her biting on things, she's always bit on everything she can get her hands on. So I just didn't really know if she was teething, teething necessarily. So one day when my parents were actually at the hospital after the surgery, I just kind of had she grabbed my finger and she I let her put it in her mouth just because she didn't have nothing to chew on and she bit down and I felt something sharp and I saw she had a tooth so that's the biggest milestone um I'm sad because she's growing up she's eight months four months and she is going to be a year um her adjusted age is still not is still but it's six months this age is six months as of today if you don't know what i mean by that just go ahead and check out her previous videos and also my labor and delivery story that'll explain a whole chunk of what i mean by adjusted age um so that's probably the biggest milestone she is on solids um i try to give her about three meals a day solids she doesn't really like baby food so i'm trying to get her to eat like you know food we eat uh, not necessar necessarily all the food we eat because she can't have it but I just get nervous because I just don't want her to choke and I know there's a lot of people who do lead weaning and that's just basically giving them table food and letting them eat pick it up themselves I'm just nervous but I think I'm gonna start doing that one she doesn't like baby food and it's cheaper it's way cheaper um this morning we she had eggs and a little bit of hash brown from Whataburger we, I went with my mom and dad, so she liked that. So I might just start making her eggs in the morning. Um, so that's pretty much the two things. She's completely sitting up unassisted. I know my last update I said she was kind of still wobbling and kind of still flying over. She's completely sitting up unassisted. She's not crawling yet. Uh, just remember she is six months adjusted, so she's acting like a six month old would. Um, but she definitely is scooting, is trying. She's got up on her knees before, but she's just not quite there yet. I think she'll, I honestly think she'll get it soon. My biggest thing right now is because we have like tile all throughout our um, living room and kitchen. And in our room, it's really crowded. If you don't know, we live with my parents. So everything's really crowded in our room because her crib's in there. So there's not much um, space for her to run, like, you know move around so I don't put her in there and, it's, and I can't put her on the tile because she lays on her stomach she like digs her head into the floor and kind of like scoots almost like an inchworm so I don't want her to do that so I have to like set up all these blankets I, yes I know I'm getting I'm looking into getting her a play mat because that'll help um, but I think if I let her put on the, the floor more she'll get it soon enough so for a little bit she was kind of like she started off sleeping on throughout the night um i think i want to say like a month ago and then like recently she started like waking up two to three times a night it was ridiculous i think it was because she was teething um and so these past couple days she has been um sleeping through the night she sleeps from like 9 30 to about seven sometimes she'll sleep till nine in the morning it just depends if she wakes up like at 6, 6.30, she'll stay up for maybe like 30 minutes and then go back to sleep and wake up at 9. Um, but she's a really good sleeper through the evening. We are actually, well, I'm actually trying to break the habit of her napping in our bed because right now, not right now, but like before she 
um, I got her used to napping in the bed. It was one, it was when she was a newborn and she was constantly waking up every, she was sleeping a lot but every, eating every three hours. So I just had her in the bed napping with me and then I just kind of kept it going because I would nap with her. So I'm trying to break her out of that. The past two days she's been doing good um, napping in her crib. She's napping in her crib right now. The thing, the reason why I had her napping in the bed is because I noticed when I put her in the crib she'd wake up. She'd only nap for like 15 to 20 minutes, but then in the bed she'd nap for like three hours. So yes, I was, you know, w wanting that three hour nap, so I was letting her nap in the bed. But now, um, so she's waking up, she was waking up more throughout the night. I thought maybe she was getting too used to the bed. So I'm kind of trying to break her out of that habit. Um, like I said, she's doing pretty good the past two days. She's napping right now in her crib. She's been napping for a while, I think almost an hour. So, fingers crossed, naps for maybe like an hour, an hour and a half still. Um, but other than that, she sleeps really great the other night. If she's in my bed for nap time, she sleeps good. She does not sleep in our bed for for um, bedtime. She just doesn't. I don't. I know moms co-sleep. I know, you know, everybody has their different parenting styles. But I choose and John chooses not to co-sleep at night. I guess you can call it, well it's not really co-sleeping co through the day because I don't nap with her anymore because I get enough sleep at night. Um, so yeah, she, we don't co-sleep, we never have. Um, that was one thing that I said that I wasn't going to do before I had kids and that's one thing that I actually stuck with because there's a lot of things I said I wouldn't do or that I would do when I have kids and I don't do it or I do it. It's just, yeah. It's that whole thing that people say. You always say how you're going to parent before you're actually a parent. But that was one thing that I still stuck with. I just um, I just don't want to co-sleep. Uh, I like my husband. I love my husband. I want to sleep with just him. So, uh, yeah, I just choose not to co-sleep. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. There's really not much else to update on. I feel like I say that every time. Like, there's not much to update. But... Those were, that, the tooth was probably like the biggest milestone that she hit. Um, but yeah, hopefully in a couple months she'll be crawling and she'll be having more milestones. I don't know if I'm going to do the 10 month. I might skip to 11 or I might wait till she's one. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, so yeah. Or no, I will do the 10 month because she's only 8 months. I'm getting way ahead of myself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, I will leave her 7 month update down in the description box. Along with my labor de labor and delivery story and her NICU story. Um, and I'll also leave our previous vlog as well. Or our previous video. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. And make sure that you subscribe if you're new. And thank you for all our um, content supporters and we love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!